Welcome back to Rob Daddy TV. I'm of course Rob. And I'm going back to Catherine Tate for a bit now. You know, someone in one of my comments reminded me that I've not seen all of Nan. So, something I had to address. So here it is, the Catherine Tate show, Nan in Hospital. Here he is. Hi, Nan. <laughs> You come up and see me? Yeah. You come up and see me, ain't ya? Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that. You all right? Not bad, son. Yeah, I'll do your pillows. Oh, you are a good boy coming all this way to see me. Well, I've got to make sure you're keeping out of trouble, aren't I? Oh, I don't know what I'd do without you. It's got a swat cut out for him for that. I mean, I'd be dead on me fucking back if I had to lie this so hard. <laughs> Nan, that's not fair. And that fat woman was here again yesterday. <laughs> her with her library books. Oh, she does look well. You've seen her. She comes waddling in here, pushing that trolley. <gasps> Nan, don't be like that. She's a volunteer. Who is it? She's a volunteer. <laughs> she don't get paid to bring the library books round. She don't get paid? No. Fucking busybody. <laughs> <laughs> She said to me, you look bored, Mrs. Taylor. I've got three words for you. Barbara Taylor Bradford. <laughs> I said, yeah, I've got three words for you, love. Calorie control diet. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> no, but you mustn't be so wicked. She don't get nothing for coming up here, that woman. She don't get a penny. She does that all out of the goodness of her heart. A big, loud coated <laughs> big pastry arm. <laughs> oh, she won't done. Nan, I've brought no. a friend of mine to see you, but if you're going to be like that, I'll tell her not to bother coming in. What do you mean? Is it Kel? Yes. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> oh, darling, what a relief. <laughs> oh, here, Maud. Maud, do you hear that? He's got a girl coming up. Panic over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have made me happy because you wanted a fucking life out of me the way you chitter like your hair sometimes. <laughs> Nan, she'll be here in a minute and I don't want you being rude. No, me? What? I wouldn't say nothing. I'm only too pleased you ain't a theatrical. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, there's something she's a little bit sensitive about. Oh, has well, she got spots? <laughs> no, she hasn't, but if you notice anything about her, I don't want you to mention it. Oh, she ain't Welsh, is she? <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is, she's lovely and I really like her, so please don't say anything. Well. She's a dwarf! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, There's no way she's not going to upset this girl when she comes in. She ain't here already, is she? <laughs> <laughs> She's loving it. No, she isn't. And I won't bring her in unless you promise to behave yourself. May I never move on my first Holy Communion. I welcome her with open arms, love. Whatever makes you happy, that's all I care about, straight up. Thanks, Nan. Ah. She's just outside. I'll bring her in. Ah. Hey, I'm old. She's outside, girl. He's bringing her in now, isn't it lovely? Oh, I've got to help this girl I when she comes in. Big rolls with Nan. Nan, this is Cheryl. Bloody bit of God. <laughs> Man. Are you okay, Mrs. Taylor? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's he thinking of bringing her in to see, Nan? Her nose like that. Did she see me all right? Oh, no, I did fucking miss her, love. <laughs> she gets a bit disorientated. Oh, I know. It's horrible when you're not feeling well. I'm just getting over a really bad cold. <laughs> you killed you! <laughs> right, What'd you do for tissues, love? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, them little pocket-sized ones, they ain't going to be any good to you, are they? Nan, please. Here, I've got a couple of old sheets in my head in <laughs> You're welcome to them if you want them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That laugh. She don't mind me, do you, Cheryl? Course not. I'm full of admiration for you, sweetheart. I mean that. Come on, we'll go. I mean, fair to fair. It takes a lot of character to wake up every morning, look in the mirror, and still walk outside your door with a great big walloping snout like that. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> 
Oh no. What a car crash. What a beautiful cow. I'm kinda lost for words. I mean I don't know what I expect to win on, but Oh that girl, that poor girl. And her nose. So that was to be in all fairness to them, that was a big ass nose that it was on that girl's face. But yeah, and then when I when I clicked on this, I thought, you know, I just don't know who she's going to offend next. And there it was, that uh, that fat woman with the library books, and then the girlfriend. <laughs> she's just too much, and I do love how before the girl come in, when Nan was basically just celebrating that her grandson wasn't gay, and that was just so funny that she thought. Like it was a theatrical or something like that. It just it just made me laugh. It's just like old TV was not afraid to joke like that. And that's what made it funny. So there's gonna be more of Nan coming. I can see there's another couple of videos that I haven't got through yet. So bear with me and they're coming.